Alright, so today I'm back with yet another chapter review, and today we will go over chapter 271, which is going to be something really special, as we will see more of Rin's and Sei's backstory, which is always just a W. After that, we will see the start of the matchup between Kaiser and Rin, which is going to be absolutely insane, so I can definitely guarantee that it's worth sticking around. Anyway, I'm going to stop talking, and let's get right into the chapter. However, before that, please double check that you are subscribed to the channel as there's 83% of people who watch my video who haven't subscribed yet. So if you could fix that by going down and subscribing to the channel, that would be awesome. And while you're already down there, you can always leave a like and a comment. And with that out of the way, let's finally get into it. Alright, so to start off chapter 271, the text at the top says, The Atoshi Brothers. In their early days, Rin's story began here. So in the last chapter, we left off with Rin and Sei going out and eating some ice cream. And as we get into this chapter, we see them coming home. Sei and Rin enter the door, and Rin yawns as both of them say that they are home. Right as they enter, their mom and dad are standing right in the doorway. With an angry and irritated voice, their mother yells Rin's name. She asks if he broke another toy again, and asks how many times it has been now. Rin, who is struggling to come up with anything, just says random words before he apologizes. However, just as he is doing so, Sei confesses that it was actually him who did it, even though it was Rin. Their parents are surprised by this, and even Rin isn't too sure what is going on. Their mom gets on the floor and takes her hands around Sei's face as she asks if it really is him. Sei explains that he got annoyed and accidentally did it. After that, their father asks Sei to come with him for a bit, and he follows along while looking back at Rin, and both of them stick their tongues out to each other. After that, we get into an intense scene where we can see a dinosaur starting to destroy and burn up an entire city. The citizens say that they can't take it anymore and that it's the end of the world, but suddenly someone sees something in the distance. They look over and see Evelman, who is still trying to get up. They are all amazed by this and say that it's been over three minutes and that there shouldn't be any power left for it to turn into a giant. However, don't be so sure. As we see one of Evilman's eyes start to light up, he then gets up on his feet once again and starts to emanate some sort of light ability. The citizens don't understand what is going on and someone even says that he is able to feel his life energy being sucked out of him. They realize that Evilman is about to undergo his final evolution and he asks everyone in the world to share their lifespan with him which they do. Even the elderly can't be stopped. We see that the energy from everyone is starting to form some sort of light ball attack in Evolman's hand, and it doesn't take long before it fires off an incredible lightning blast as he says that life is beauty ho. Now I'm not sure whether this is a typo or if it's supposed to say beauty ho, but I will continue saying beauty ho as it's what it says. Anyway, the light beam hits the dinosaur right in its stomach, making it a critical hit. After that, we go back to the regular blue lock and see some of Rin's classmates doing the Evolman final attack in the classroom. Rin is watching them as he plays Jenga and hears them saying that Evelman is so cool and even asks their sensei to do the final boss attack. Their sensei scratches their heads and says that recent special effects hero shows are really well made, even saying that she cried again yesterday after watching all the episodes, and she even begins to cry just thinking about it. The kids are getting annoyed and ask her to just do the attack already, but she continues going over how sad the last episode was. Rin is watching this closely, however, suddenly his friends call his name and say that it's his turn to go. Rin looks back at the Jenga tower, but instead of placing a block, he instead falls on top of the tower, which makes his friends question what he is doing. After that, we went outside and saw some birds eating seeds on the ground. However, suddenly, superhero Rin comes attacking, as he jumps down from a playground thing and goes for the birds. However, they quickly evade him as they see him going for them, and after that, they fly away, leaving Rin on the ground with a bleeding nose. After that, the school day is over, and Rin is home watching TV. He sees a tiger, and what looks like a deer who's fighting for its life. However, the tiger is faster than the deer, so he catches up, and as he's gotten hold of the deer, the tiger starts to bite on its neck. I can't really make out Rin's expression for this because, at first glance, he looks shocked. But at second glance, I feel like he looks fascinated, so I can't really say, but let's go with him being shocked. After that, we go over to Rin's parents, who are sitting in the kitchen. Their mom says that today again, Rin caused trouble at the kindergarten, saying that he jumped off a high place by himself and came home injured again, saying that lately Sei seems to be acting strange because of Rin, and their mother starts to wonder if she is a good enough mother. Their father tries to comfort the mother and says that it's fine, explaining that it's just a boy's impulsive nature, 
and that he is sure that Rin will calm down as he gets older. As he says that, we see Rin, who's been standing quietly alongside the door and listening into their conversation. As he's listening, Sei comes down the stairs and asks if Rin wants some ice cream. Rin shakes his head and says that he doesn't. After that, we see a small panel of the superhero toy that Rin broke before, but now it has tape around it that is holding it together. Rin, who's lying on the bed, asks if Sei thinks that Rin is weird. Sei is surprised by this question and says that he is his little brother after all. After that, Rin asks if Sei thinks that it's a bother for everyone if Rin is around, and Sei just asks what that's supposed to mean. As he's stretching, he says that people often call him weird or annoying as well, asking Rin if he's unhappy that Sei is just as weird as he is. However, Rin says that if he's the same as Sei is, then it's okay if he's weird, and then Rin puts on Evelman on the TV. Sei, who is doing keep-ups up with the ball, asks if Rin is once again watching that, and says that all of his friends are also into it, and that they are saying stuff like, a Volman is so cool as well as he is fighting to protect the earth, calling it all childish. Rin, who's still closely watching the TV, says that he, instead of liking Evolman, is a fan of the final monster boss, asking Sei to take a look at it, and explains that he is trying to beat someone who is better than himself is, explaining that even though it's at a disadvantage, it's still fighting for its life, as we see as the final monster boss runs through the light beam and crushes Evolman's head with his teeth, almost like what the tiger did to the deer earlier, Rin continues and says that even if its body is riddled with holes, or if it has to go as far as to self-destruct, it still fights to defeat the hero and calls it super cool, as he sees that the two of them, self-destructs, say, is watching Rin in shock, as Rin says that to him, even if he gets hurt and beaten, one day he wants to fight someone amazing, destroy him, and then die just like the final monster did. Rin's eyes are big as he's watching the TV while Sei still looks in shock. We also see that Rin starts to drool again as we get back in the game, and he says that his ego isn't just a destruction impulse, but instead, a destruction at the cost of life, looking like a maniac with his dead and dark eyes while having his tongue out and saying that this is his true nature. However, just then, Kaiser comes from his side and screams that it's fucking rude of Rin, calling him a foul-mouthed, tongue-wagging monk. And just then, the matchup between Kaiser and Rin starts with both of them looking more fired up than ever before. The text at the bottom says, giving your all to know your ego, engrave this way of life on the world. Now once again, I'm unable to find the title for the next chapter, so if you know, please leave it down below. Anyway, let's talk about this chapter. Now as this chapter was mostly backstories, I don't have a lot to comment on. However, there's something I want to quickly talk about. And firstly, it's the panels where they have just gotten home from eating ice cream where their mother asked, who broke the toy? Or I should say, accused Rin of breaking it. And even though it was Rin who broke it, it was such a nice and elderly brother thing for Sei to take the blame himself. A lot of people have been saying that Sei doesn't care about Rin, however. I think that this panel alone clearly states otherwise as he was willing to take the blame to just protect Rin, which is what a true brother does. I felt a bit of sadness when we saw that Rin was listening into their parents' conversation, because just hearing what they talked about must have hurt him so much even making him wonder if he is strange, and if he is a bother to everyone. But once again, Sei was there to ensure Rin that he shouldn't worry about it, as he is weird too. Seeing this panel scared me a bit, because Rin said that he wants to fight someone amazing, destroy him, and then simply just die like that. Does this mean that he will just quit after he's beaten Isagi, as it seems like it's Isagi who Rin wants to beat the most right now? Personally, I think that it's what he believes will happen now, but if he destroys, for example Isagi, I don't see him quitting, and I highly doubt that someone like Rin will quit. Also, this panel looks amazing, but I saw someone commenting on Isagi's face, and I just wondering what happened to my boy, he looks kind of strange. I'm really excited to see the matchup for Rin and Kaiser, and I'm gonna be honest, but I think that Kaiser will stop Rin from scoring, but I'm interested in hearing what you think, so please tell me down below. Anyway, yeah, this is just my thoughts on it, and please leave your thoughts and theories down in the comments, as I love reading them. If you like blue lock and videos like this, then I would highly suggest you subscribe to this channel, and while you're at it, leave a comment and a like, as it helps out with the algorithm a ton. And if you are curious to see another video of mine, then please watch the video that will be popping up on the screen now. Anyway, thanks for watching and have a great day, bye.